Kathy here from Paper and Lace Princess. Now since my last video tutorial on my mixed media Zentangle piece that I've done, I've had a lot of questions from you guys asking me how I copy my artwork onto tissue paper. So I thought it's probably easier if I just do a very quick tutorial and show you what it is that I do. Um, so you need to grab yourself some tissue paper, this is just a gift wrap that I buy and I just lay it all out and cut it up into these sheets and I cut it a little bit larger than an A4. Um, so grab yourself your piece of printer paper, A4 printer paper and lay that on the top of your tissue. Now just one thing to note that tissue paper has two different sides, one's like a matte finish uh, uh, the camera's really probably not going to pick this up, but one has got like a smooth, shiny finish. It's more polished, and then the other side is a dull finish. We want the dull finish to be on the outside. <clears throat> so we'll just place that down, pop our tissue paper onto the top, and it's just a simple matter of getting a really straight <clears throat> excuse me, very very crisp fold line to this paper. So just push it down with your finger so it is laying really flat. Grab a small piece of scotch tape and pop that down and do the same thing for the sides. Now with the sides make sure that the corner at the top is not protruding past your um, paper. You want that to be a really flush fold because if it's not sometimes the printer can just grab that and well my printer does all sorts of funny things to it but look if it's laying down nice and flat like so just tape it you're not going to have a problem. Now I tend to just tape the three pieces here at the top one in the middle and one on each corner because you'll find once this starts to feed through your printer the printer will it'll be fine so it's, this is the important part that it just starts to get fed through the printer fine so you can see that's just laying down nice and flat so if I turn it over here you can see that the corners are, are, are nice clean crisp corners so I would just make sure that when I'm putting it in my printer I do have it going in the way the right way so that when it prints my image will be on the tissue paper side not the back side and just give it a couple of minutes for the ink to dry I only use an inkjet printer I never have any trouble with transferring my images with um, a matte medium or a gel medium Mod Podge anything really I just don't have any problems with it so long as you just do give it a couple of minutes to dry so there you go guys I hope that has answered your question and just let me know if there's anything else that you'd like to um, like to see or like to have answered. So thanks again, and until next time, have fun creating. Bye.